Hi, Roses. Hi, Red. Welcome to Roses Are Red. I'm Rosetta Marie at the Psychic Quarter. Um, I'm just going to ask Spirit what messages you need to hear right now, what's going on with your energy. Um, let's see. What's going on, Spirit? What does the Roses need to hear? Let's start with this deck. Let's see. What does the roses need to hear? Foundation. So you're building your foundation. Wrong. Establishing yourself. Possibly building a family. Or building up your security right now. Your security system. This could be a financial security. Or someone could have just installed security cameras. So what else is going on? It seems like it's a new day for you. And then you have some confliction coming up. Maybe someone feels a little bit unsettled with this new situation. Like their foundation feels a little shaky. What else is going on with the roses? Chemistry. And then on and off, detached. So somebody could feel like they're being haunted right now. Because those just keep appearing, coming in and out, appearing, disappearing. Um, it has something to do with your chemistry, like your hormones, could be pheromones for some people. Like it's something about your energy that's attracting them, but it's also scaring them. So this could be causing you some confliction, like you don't know what side to pick or if you even need to pick a side. But you're doing the right thing because your foundation is stable. So let these ghosts have their opinions and conflictions and you just keep on being yourself. Okay, any more from this deck? What's going on with the roses? Groupie. So, yeah, you're being surrounded by groupies right now, but I'm looking at them like bumblebees or just other insects. If that's a metaphor, an appropriate metaphor at this time. Like, they're attracted to your beauty and they have their own aura they have their own agenda and their own plan but it somehow works out with you i don't feel like you need to be afraid of these toxic entities around you even if they show that they are attracted to you they're trying to make eye contact with you but the eye contact is like very deep like on a spiritual level and um i feel like they think you're cool Because you don't want to deal with them or because you're kind of standoffish someone says i want you back and they're showing their true colors which might have been like they were trying to come off as friends at first and now they're trying to have a relationship with you um let's get some more on what this person could be saying why are they coming towards you now all of a sudden why are these groupies coming towards you now all of a sudden i use my work as a way to move on from you so they're pretending to be busy and they're basically saying that they wanted to be in your space this entire time but maybe you didn't have the doors open for them so what i'm getting is that they've been misinformed because i feel like the doors aren't really open for them but now they feel like this is maybe party time. Like maybe you're you're going out more or being more social or being more relaxed with your boundaries. And they feel like they can contact you or connect with you. But that's just not true. Which maybe in the past might have caused some anxiety. But I feel strong enough to just breeze right past this energy. I will be there by your side when you're ready. Whoever this is, they're definitely waiting on you. I feel like that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> like I kind of get this, get the sense like you might want to run away from this person. But they're saying they're going to wait for you. Like whenever you're ready to go out partying with them, 
they're saying they're missing you. They they miss you. They want you back. They're thinking about you. They may even try to call you or plan on calling you to go out for drinks or something. But I feel like it's what's going to happen with that. I feel like somebody's going to pretend like they're just getting drunk and they're, they're going to try and hit on you or make a pass on you. And then say, oh, it was just the drinks. But their true colors is that they want more than a friendship. And that's probably why you don't really want to be around these people. Sex, good time. Like, they, they really are. They just care about sex. They're attracted to you because you seem like somebody who isn't all over the place. Like, you seem really put together. And they want to violate that. That's what I'm getting. Okay, this could be, uh, someone could be a virgin or maybe they haven't gotten into a busy lifestyle, but I feel like someone is really turned on by that in, this, in a perverted way. Single parent responsibilities, or maybe you have children, but you've just been celibate for a while or something like that. Or this person has children. If I'm talking to a masculine, they may want you to be the father of their next child. I'm just getting into something that's very wild about this person compromise making changes yeah they're trying to change you in some way like change your core belief and they're doing it in really sneaky ways like maybe they can turn you on get you to loosen up and then they can violate you because i don't feel like it's really leading to anything but their own selfish desire to pull people down into their misery because they're depressed okay Healing, releasing. Yeah, you're going to release this person and also heal from any uh, re residue or residual feelings that these people are really having a good time. You're missing out on something because they're not they're not having a good time. They're suffering. They're very depressed, very lonely, and they hate people who look like they don't care. Like, yeah, not just not caring, but like you're not depressed. You don't look like you have a lot of uh problems like they do snake not what it looks like yeah it's not what it looks like these groupies are haters these people drinking and party partying are miserable they're lonely but moving on that's probably why they want your attention because they feel like they can seduce you in some way to do what they're doing or just be sad like they want you to kind of like empathize with their feelings and just be sad with them they're very scared this this might have been the initial reason why you might have felt to run away from them because they're running away from something and they're trying to run into your arms which may not even be open but they're misinterpreting misinterpre your personality as being open so, a couple more cards for this. Love. Okay. Obstacles and spiritual. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. So, that's what's going on with this person trying to shake your foundation. Just ignore them and navigate around their toxic energy. Because it's not like you're not aware of them you don't have to pretend like you don't see them but just not be <clears throat> not be affected by what they're doing your spiritual journey is beginning and that's what matters right now back to the beginning is you're in a really good space and people are going to be uncomfortable around you because you're so comfortable with yourself and that just seems like a forewarning like something you may even be aware of Okay, so I post these readings four weeks in advance. You may be going through this right now as I'm posting or as I'm recording or even weeks later as a timeless reading. But there's definitely some energy that's attracted to you being well and successful and they're trying to break that up in some way. But I feel like you're, you're going to move on and you're going to keep focusing on what matters to you and not what this person is doing, waiting for you, trying to be an obstacle to you, trying to seduce you or whatever they're up to okay it doesn't really matter so that's your energy and if you want to dive a little deeper you can book a personal reading or subscribe to members only content to get this as i post and um yeah so thank you for being here like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one